I'm Scott Al Miller. It's the 6th of July, 2023. This is my vlog of daily life living in Nicaragua. And today I'm starting the show from the Fair Park in Nagarote in uh, southeastern Leon Departamento. I am with the kids. We are on our way to Managua for a fun day in the city. And we're going to get to that right after the bump. We started the day getting up fairly early and actually managed to get out and head out to Fatima where we did a little bit of filming. If you see the episode, I don't know if it's coming before or after this one where we do the tour of the beautiful house for sale in uh, Residencia Fatima. That was this morning. We did that. The kids were with me in the car and we took off straight from there to head to Managua. The kids have been asking for a couple weeks ever since our last time shopping there if they could have a just fun day without any like shopping or things that we needed to do in Managua. And so that is what we're finally managing to pull off today. It is a Thursday and it's just a gorgeous day. It is like 35 degrees out, which is like mid 90s. It feels pretty warm, but it's comfortable. It's breezy. Nagarote is gorgeous. I've been wanting to film this park a little bit. This is the brand new fair park uh, that is right against the highway. So right over here is the main highway. This is the, uh, it's also known as the New Leon Road, but it's a very, very busy road. It is the main highway now running between Leon in that direction and Managua in that direction. So tons of traffic and we come past this beautiful new park that we've watched be built. It's been a park in the past, but it was like, just kind of an open space previously, and now it is absolutely gorgeous. Now, Nagarote is famous for being super clean and beautiful. It's this really nice city, but it has no tourism until now. Now we're getting the word out, right? But there's the statue of Sandino out by the road, and then there's this monument to Sandino right behind me, and this thing is gorgeous. It is very, very colorful. It's the only one I know of like this in the country. Uh, we're kind of at an oblique angle, but uh, this, this at the very top, is a silhouette of Sandino with colorful bars through it. And then it matches the bars that go around to make this kind of cone. And then it's a garden all the way around the bottom, garden through the middle, and it's actually a fountain. It's not on at the moment, uh, but there's water in there all the way around. And this is great. All over Nicaragua, new fountains are going in. There are so many old fountains that I talked about like a year and a half ago. Now there's all these old fountains and it's so sad because they would be nice if they were in use, but they're clearly like broken down and no one's run them in forever. You never see water in them. And now suddenly we're seeing all these brand new fountains go in that are bigger and gorgeous and they actually have water. Like we see them in Ruben Dario Park. You'll see the fountains going. Uh, we see them in the Malicon in uh, Las Penitas. They have got a really nice fountain there. Uh, we've seen a few. This one's gorgeous. I really wish I could be here when it's on. I'll make an effort because we do come through Nagarote all the time. And we did just film the Ipico here uh, four days ago, right, on the second. So we're we're learning how to use this city. I think this is going to be a great place to come out more often. It is so gorgeous. Uh, I think there's going to be a lot to do here. I've got the kids today, so we're not doing a Nagarote day. I'm just showing you a little bit of this park because I'm grabbing this for Nicaragua 360 while I'm here. Uh, but I did it. There's like no one out here. It's quiet, as quiet as you can be middle of the day in this absolutely gorgeous park. So wanted to get a little bit of film. We're going to get back in the car and we're going to head to Managua. And the plan is something just hit me in the back. Uh, the plan is that we're heading to Managua to do a bunch of food, maybe some shopping. And we want to head to Nindiri, famous for its dinosaur park here in Nicaragua. How fun is that going to be? I, I've heard it's pretty small and nothing special, but it's a dinosaur park just outside Managua. Of course we're going to go. So we're going to bring that to you. I have to say, dinosaur parks are the kind of thing that we have always gone to as a family, and we've been to them in Greece, we've been to them um, around the world, and honestly, this is one of the best I've ever seen. I can't believe how nice this is, how well done everything is. I, I'm really, really blown away. This Nindiri Dinosaur Park is fantastic, and it's it's everything, the, the plants, the trees, the quality of the dinosaurs, everything is labeled. And now there isn't um, a big uh, educational um, aspect to it. Like there isn't uh, a lot of signage that says what things are and um, explains what you're seeing. That would be a great addition to the park. But beyond that, the actual quality 
of the dinosaurs, the uh, quality of the landscaping, and there is quite a bit of information about the trees. This is the Arlenzio National Arboretum. You see a pterodactyl, I think, back there. And uh, I mean, this is, I am so impressed. I'm, I'm kind of speechless how well done this is. I cannot believe that people don't talk about this more. I'm only really familiar with the Dinosaur Park because when you drive the Messiah Road, uh, you come by it and there are signs for the park. There's very little information. So you don't really think about it. And of course, it's a dinosaur park. It's not a big thing for tourists who are coming through. So they don't tell tourists about it. This is completely for Nicaraguans. It's not meant for tourists in any way whatsoever. That's, that's just expected. But this is truly, truly well done. I'm really impressed. And I do know one person from the channel who uh, filmed walking through here not long ago, maybe in the last six months, uh, but they only just quickly filmed walking through and didn't really uh, do an episode about the park. I didn't know what to expect. I'm so impressed, so beyond impressed. And the kids are both really, really impressed as well. They can't believe how big it is. I mean, it's certainly not huge. If you're planning some time for this, you're not likely going to spend uh, even an hour, but coming for 30 minutes and walking around uh, with kids is an easy, easy thing to do. And uh, what's really awesome, and no one tells you this anywhere either, uh, let me give an example. This is uh, one of the uh, tree informational signs that they have from Inafor. And this is completely free. Nobody mentioned that anywhere. I kept looking for information and I did see eventually something that said that there was no charge, that this is just the municipal park. And we we're like, what? No, that can't be. It's a dinosaur park. It's an attraction. You would charge for this and you would think, but they do not. This is the main entrance. We're gonna go out and take a look. I think it's easier to come in the back way, but let's go take a look. So this is where you come down the street over there that we're looking at when you first come in and you park somewhere, the whole street has is chained off on the one side to make it nice and easy and safe to walk over here. I'm gonna get a picture of the sign as well. You can see the official map of everything. Hopefully that shows up, we'll get a little closer. And you can see that there is the Infants Park, the Artisan Market, and the Dinosaur Park are all right next to each other. Unfortunately, my GoPro had some technical problems, and so I have to voice over everything, but welcome to the Dinosaur Park. The kids were really excited that we came out here. We've been looking forward to this for a month, and it took us a while before we finally came out here. This entrance is so cool. Like just everything we encountered was really, really neat. And this is a small town. Like seriously, this is like, I don't know, a village of maybe 5,000 people. If that, they have several big parks. You don't see it in this video, but the children's park, which is kind of out there on the left, like off behind those buildings, has a big castle in it and all kinds of stuff. On the left here, these are eggs that like kids can climb into and have their picture taken and a dinosaur mouth for pictures on the right. They have a lot of cool stuff like that just to give you like picture spots. Central America is really, probably all of Latin America, really big on the Instagram locations. So it's really popular to have like these different spots, whether it's kids or adults, whatever. You can go to bars and uh, you get your picture taken with like neon sayings or angel wings or all kinds of interesting things. But they did such a good job, like even the trees on the left, the wall around the park is all like these sculpted uh, uh, frises, I guess, uh, friezes. I'm, I'm terrible with, with that stuff. And I'm shooting this portion is all shot on the Insta360 X3. So it's kind of this neat um, um, perspective that we got on everything. I am going to be putting a longer, quite a bit longer version of this walkthrough on the 360 cam in full 360 degrees on our sister channel, Nicaragua 360. So if you want to get like a full walk around of the park in one continuous go that you can look around in every direction, you can go check that out when it's up, which will probably be in about two weeks. We're super behind uh, on, on stuff over there, uh, not because we are uh, behind on editing, but because we are backlogged. We have so 
many cool uh, episodes that are coming up over there that it's just in the queue to go live. Uh, but it was it's pretty neat stuff we've got here. You can see the topiary here, really well done. All these statues, really well done. The whole layout of the park, everything, just the walkways, the little dividers. They put so much attention to detail into this park. It's just really impressive. I love these bridges, uh, all this kind of stuff. This is uh, meant to be a really big pond uh, with a bridge going over it. That's a cave beyond that you can walk through. Um, unfortunately, there, there wasn't the water flowing. I really wish we would have seen that. The girls were very disappointed that we didn't see this all full because it would have been so much cooler with like waterfalls and, and little like rivers and fountains. We could tell how much was, was there, but uh, we just didn't get to see it. But it, I, I, totally flabbergasted by what a cool park this is um and i highly recommend like yeah if you're going to be in the area take the time come out tell people about this like show this this is so unexpected this is the the nicaragua that no one talks about the nicaragua that no one thinks about um the the everyday life or the things that are done for school trips or just whatever there's you know of course there's all these things and when you're a tourist, of, uh, of course, you're not going to think about them. When you are uh, talking about relocating to Nicaragua or you're an expat or whatever, it's just it's not on your radar to think about um, a dinosaur park or any number of things like this. And water parks are actually a really good example that uh, Nicaragua is full of water parks. Uh, of course, it's a very hot climate, and we don't have large amusement parks. Things like roller coasters are very expensive to put in and uh, not particularly popular. I've never seen an actual roller coaster in the country. You see the little portable ones at carnivals, but I've never seen an actual, like, real roller coaster. I don't believe there is one in the entire country. There is, for sure, in Guatemala, I think, El Salvador. Um, but that's not something we have. But what we have instead is very large uh, like water slides and and a lot of them in Leon itself. I think there are three or four just in and around the city. Uh, there's at least one right in the Barrio uh, Guadalupe where we had that house that we looked at just the other day. Um, you would never believe that there's a, a pretty good sized water park right there in the middle of the Barrio, uh, but there is and it's, it's busy during the day and just north of the city uh in Talika, which we go through on a lot of the the drive warps or when we're just traveling to like uh Chinandega or Matagalpa we go through Talika. Talika is famous for its water parks as well like it's the the little town of water parks it's the main uh economic activity there and uh, these get all the kids there having a great time everyone wanted to be on camera like that there were that there were foreigners coming through this park caught a lot of people off guard we were we were not expected by anybody um but this area is more for like picnicking, which is great. There's all these spots for families to sit. And obviously the way this is designed, remember this is a super safe country and this is a really safe part of the country. This is Nindiri, which if you look at the map, it is a very small village in the Departmento Masaya. Uh, this is on the Masaya Road. So this is the busiest road in this part of the country. It is the road running from Managua through uh, Tequan Tepe, through Nindiri and into the city of Messiah. So there's a lot of traffic out there, but it's all through traffic and it's uh, a very relatively affluent area of the country. And this is a small village. So this is totally safe. So families would, the parents would go sit at all those tables, maybe have some food and the kids just run around. And while we were there, you can see from these videos, there's not a lot of kids, right? There's, there's, it's not a huge number, but, um, but those that were there were almost all loose. There were some with their parents, especially little ones. But once they're of any age, the kids were out just running around on their own, having a good time. My girls were just off running, right? We got there, and the moment we got there, they're, like, so excited to have this big park to run around and explore together. The two of them just took off right from the gate and, and ran through the park. I didn't see them for uh, about half the time that I was filming this. Uh, they were not there with me. They were off doing the, the bridges and running through the cave and figuring out where all the different things were. Uh, and they, they really had a good time that they were able to run around, that they had a place to explore and do their own thing and not have to be tied to us. Um, it, that really worked out well as well. They need that stuff, right? It's great to be able to have a place where the kids can just go 
do their own thing and feel really comfortable uh, with them doing that. And this was perfect. Uh, this climbing up, I think it's a brontosaurus, climbing up to this high observation point is, is kind of a cool, like, it was, it was cool. And, and the view is really nice from up there. And uh, uh, we're really close to a lake. Uh, on the opposite side of the road from where you enter the dino park is the, and I'm probably going to get this wrong, the north end of Lago Masaya, which is a relatively small volcanic lake at the base of the Vulcan Masaya, I believe, and the city of Masaya is built in kind of a crescent around the east side of the lake. Nindiri sits north of the lake, and there's this really cool park or series of parks and, and the artisan uh, area. This is where I actually discovered the kids again. Um, uh, lies uh, pretty close to the road, very close to the lake. And on the opposite side, there is currently a uh, pirate-themed restaurant. That's not the strongest theming, and we didn't go. I couldn't talk the kids into it. Uh, but it really gives you a feeling of kind of like a Long John Silver's, but on a much bigger, fancier scale. But it has a little bit of that feeling to it from the outside. Uh, and it's called like Buccaneeros um, and, and definitely looked, I wanted to go. I wanted to go see how much theming they would do at uh, a pirate place on the lake across the road from this, right? A lot of potential. Pictures of it just looked okay, nothing particularly special and rather pricey, like certainly not US prices, but closer to U.S. prices than to Nicaragua prices. So that discouraged us a little bit. Um, but the kids just didn't want to go. I, I did make an attempt at talking them into it. They were like, no, no, not what we want to do. After this, they, they really wanted to go and hang out at the Galleria, uh, which they loved. They loved the selection of restaurants there. Um, they have Italian and Cajun and sushi. We had done sushi for lunch uh, after we did um, Nagarote for the park. We went to the Galleria, did sushi, but we wanted to come and get this park in good light. So that was our, our day. And then we did the park. Then we went and did shopping. They love all the, they're basically five and dimes, uh, but these little Asian shops, Korean, uh, Chinese, whatever, and they, and they import like there's different ones from different countries and they import all kinds of goods from their country and they have really great selections at amazing prices. So we spent a bit of time doing that kind of shopping and had a really nice time and then went to dinner at Pane e Vino, which is the Italian restaurant that they like so much. So that's really what they wanted to do. They wanted to hang out at the Galleria until it was time to head home and that's what we did. But what a great day at the Dino Park. This place is so cool. It has bridges and fountains and pools and so many dinosaurs, like way more than I was expecting. And dinosaur themed benches and water fountains and everything. Like, this is seriously fun. Like, this is really well done. So much effort was put into this. It is so well maintained, so clean. This is one of the best city parks I've ever come on. Like, this is. <sighs> This is something that Nicaragua needs to be talking about a lot more. They need to be showing off uh, how they do parks and stuff. And I keep talking about how parks are being improved and, and new projects like this are happening. This one's not that new. It's been here for years, uh, but, but seriously, wow. So if you're going to be in the area and you have kids or you just want to stop and see a really nice park, I highly recommend this. This is free. First of all, just come in, park and walk in, enjoy the park. It's a great place to bring in food. There's a lot of food being sold nearby. There is a pirate themed restaurant basically across the street on the main road. Uh, if you're gonna be in on this side of Managua, this is very easy to get to. If you're gonna be in Masaya, this is very easy to get to. Masaya, if you're going to the volcano, for example, or if you're going to the market, um, a lot of those things, you, you can come right here, right? You're, you're minutes away. If you're gonna be in Granada, this is a very short trip, very easy to do. Uh, so for a lot of the main destinations or the main travel, right? If you're in any of those areas, likely you're gonna be traveling between Managua and Granada at some point coming down this the messiah road tons of traffic comes down this so it's very very easy to stop this is a great way to spend 30 minutes and even an hour and uh and see something really really awesome i'm just i'm so impressed i wow we're all really glad that we took the time to drive out here today this was well well worth it we do wish that the fountains were on that the pools were full this would be so much cooler if that but they've got this cave even like that's really cool. This gives you quite a bit of a Disney World feeling, uh, for real. Like the it, what needs to be added is a really good dark ride uh, with with a big education thing about dinosaurs and what happened and discovering dinosaurs and that kind of stuff. That would take it to 
a truly epic level. It could easily be the best dinosaur park I've ever seen. Uh, I'd love to see that added, but as it is, this is impressive, impressive. And it doesn't hurt, of course, right, that all the plants and everything look like they're right out of Jurassic Park, because Jurassic Park is set in Costa Rica just a few hours from here. So this is, from a, from a climatic standpoint, exactly what we now picture from the Jurassic Park movie. So, this, so it's perfect in that regard. Really interesting and cool. So we're having a lot of fun just checking this out and bringing it to you. Uh, what a What a cool, cool discovery today. We had so much fun here today at the Dino Park. I'm glad you were able to come along with us. If you'd like to help support us on doing these trips and bringing other content to you, please consider buying us a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash Scott Allen Miller. That is how we support this show and make this all possible, these trips, these films, all these different things. If you're looking for assistance in relocating to Nicaragua or just need private tours, shoot us an email, info at relocatenicaragua.com. We'd love to talk to you as always please consider, first of all, hit that like button. Take a moment, do that. It makes a huge difference. Uh, share this on social media. If you're on Reddit, Twitter, Facebook, you name it, just grab the link of the, the episode, put it in there, and it really does a lot. We get so many new people every time we do that. Tell your friends about the show, and uh, thanks for joining us. I will see all of you tomorrow. <laughs>